Let me get closer. Ow. Sorry. Somebody's hat just hit me in my head. Ah, knock it off. <laughs> this right here, two trash bags full, two totes, that box, and there's uh, an Ikea bag and uh, two more boxes full in the cab. This is like probably the biggest single purchase I've ever made. Uh, so I saw this guy on Facebook and he was like, Caps, caps for sale, 50 cents a cap. He said something like that. And it had just been posted like 37 minutes ago, right? And that's always the prime time to find stuff like that, obviously. Me think I go for a walk in the pasture. But this is what I was seeing was like big patches. And if you guys know anything about big patch hats, big patch vintage hats on eBay, some of them can be absolute gold. He became so angry that he pulled off his own cap, threw it on the ground and began to walk away. <laughs> Everybody, welcome to an all new adventures. My name's Adabalette. What's my name? What's my name? That's Mickey Munchies, and this little cutie is Emma Bites. We go on fun family adventures together as a family. You said that already! Lots of family on involvement. A family. No, not on a family. <laughs> as a family. If you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel and our other family cooking show, Edible Eds. We have lots of fun in and outside of the kitchen, so come along with us. Come along with me, and the butterflies and bees. On today's all new adventures episode, we are at one of our favorite places in Phoenix. Dulac is a perfect place. Please keep up on the grass, shine your shoes, wipe your face. On a Saturday morning, when it's not super hot. <laughs> we are at the Uptown Funk. So I, Farmer's Market. Uptown Funk. I don't think that's the official name, but they, mm -hmm. they I mean, it, it, they're, they're, waste, they're leaving money on the table by not naming it that, the Uptown Funk. So I, Farmer's Market. Um, We've come here a couple times in the past, um, and we've had to leave early because Emma's like, yo guys, I'm done. I'm tapping out. I already got my popcorn, I got something to eat. I'm stuffed. I'm good. Let's go. It is a very atypical day here in Phoenix during the summer. <laughs> we had a pretty heavy storm last night, so today is not super muggy. It's not super humid. It's a good day to be out. So we're going to go and check out the farmer's market here at the Uptown Funk. So I, farmer's market. So come along with us on this awesome adventure. Barbecue breakfast burritos? Thank you. Admission is free. There's over a hundred vendors, AC, and indoor dining. Oh my god, something that smells amazing. Sorry, I farted. We got a runner. Go! Freeze, sir! Freeze! Hey! What do you have available? We have uh, veggie. Can I try a beef, please? You want to try a cheese one, Mama? And a cheese. This is our first time trying Somali sambosas. Yeah, I'll try some. Thank you. Wow, thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, there's a date inside, right? I think I saw your post. That's like a whole block of cheese in there. That's awesome. That's delicious. You have to open the hot sauce too. The pastry is nice and flaky. 
with that cheese, I mean, you can't go wrong with cheese. This is the beef one. cheese both, both? <laughs> it's really good hot sauce is not too spicy but it gives a nice like freshness cuts the fat the fattiness of this wow, that's delicious Emma Bites was gracious enough to wave to all of her adoring fans. Not only do they have food for sale, but they have dog treats, furniture, and some houseware stuff for sale too. Pretty cool. So that was our trip. Oh wait, you serious? To the Uptown Funk. Farmer's Market. Um, I know at the beginning of this video I had mentioned that it wasn't very hot. <laughs> <laughs> um, it got pretty hot real quick. By the time we started walking, the sun decided to make an appearance. Acknowledge me. So, um, it's a little humid, and even though it's not like super temperature hot, it is like Mickey Munchie said, humid, which you said that already uh, is worse than like really high heat. Mickey Munchie's got her famous kettle corn whenever we come to places like this. She got Umberto, that's a deep cut from a joke from a long time ago. What was his point? I have no idea, dude. I don't get it, I don't get it either. Wait a minute. That's it. I don't get it. Huh? Don't you see, Kyle? I don't get it! And then Emma got a pet. She got a pet succulent. Yeah, you have to take care of it. It's a living pet. Yeah, so uh, it takes two teaspoons of water every week. I am Groot. Mm-hmm. I am Groot. Uh-huh. I am Groot. No! We're gonna have to take care of her, her pug. Succulent. So only two tablespoons of water on Wednesday. Okay, that was good on Wednesday. Wednesday. We got and we, lots of goodies. We did. We got lots. I mean, pretty much everything was a pastry. I, I tried to wait for this. Ooh. It got a little. That's a Danish. Cream cheese Danish. With a bunch of delicious fruits. Yeah. Give it a and, shot. Um, you gonna try it? And what is the sugar? The fancy sugar called? It's turbinado. Turbinado. Oh, that's good. Mmm, don't you guys wish we had a Danish for yourselves? Not me, because I'm really full, because I ate a croissant in like two and a half a days. Um, uh, our neighbors have a booth here where they sell vegan uh, Vietnamese food and pottery. We couldn't find them. Yeah, but what happened to the Dufrains? No one seems to care. <laughs> Who can eat at a time like this? People are missing. You people are selfish. The Dufresnes are in someone's trunk right now. 
with duct tape over their mouth. They like reorganized the whole Uptown Funk. I'm so Farmer's Market. Hey uh, Brad, where yeah. are you? Here I am. It was fun, it was cool. We, we, we went to some of the previous vendors that we've gone to and we've gone to a couple new ones. But everything we got was super delicious. It was amazing. It was really good. I have to say my favorite was I know. the Sambosa. Sambosa. That beef Sambosa. With that hot sauce that wasn't like hot but it had like a freshness to it. Oh, it was delicious. I, I would be just happy just eating like a bucket of those. A bucket of Sambosa. The cheese. That yeah, was good. The cookies. The beef, yeah, it had a lot of flavor. Ooh, that butter cookie. The, the date cookie was really good. Um, I don't remember exactly what we filmed because it was kind of hard. They did say that there's AC, um, like indoor uh, dining. You could go and eat inside. We couldn't find it. I think we got more tired looking for it than actually walking around like enjoying it's the market. Huge. It's It's ginormous. I think it's like 80 plus vendors. It, it really is four, at least four times the size Easily. that it used to be. Well, and plus the couple times we came in, came to it, it was like, you know, after the pandemic and stuff. Like that, stuff plus we usually come a little later. They open at seven. Right. Definitely not here at seven. Um, but maybe next time we can be here closer to seven than, you know, closer to 11. Uh, when they close and I think hours extend once the weather cools down a bit so we'll try to come back again and show you additional items like this well we'll see how how you do it well, see how long it survives it was really fun we hope you guys had a good time with us we had a good time uh, we're gonna we're happily in our our AC is you could hear it blasting but thanks for joining us on this adventure again if you haven't please subscribe to this and our other uh, cool cooking show edible eds we greatly appreciate it and we will see you somewhere next time bye, bye everybody bye. Oh.